Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is February 21st, uh, 2019, and yeah, you're looking at a picture of our deceased kitty. We had to put him down. He started to drastically go downhill shortly after I recorded the video of him in January, and I thought in the back of my mind I might be jinxing myself because he is approaching 16, just about 15, 14 to 15. It's hard to say for sure. My husband rescued him. He was a feral cat way back in 2004, and the vet said he was a year to two years at that time. So he's done really well up until about Christmas of 2017, and then he seemed to recover, and uh, he went downhill, so we put him down last weekend, and I'll share a little bit more what happened later in the video, but in the next segment you're going to see is just a clip of him three years ago in 2016 doing kitty tricks. And it's just showing you, just he was just the perfect pet. We really miss him. And I don't know if we're going to get another one. So, anyway, hey here you go. Hey, guys. Lady Liberty Stacker here. And soft kitty number three. I bribed him. I got him to come up here for to get some treats. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, it's hard to hold the treats and the camera at the same time. So, you got to come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. It's right there. Good boy. All right. Up. 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 Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Whoops. Have to switch, switch the treats to my right hand. I wanted him to partake in the video and... Hubby just walked in and asked me a question, and out he ran, so I had to bribe him with treats. I didn't even plan on doing this. You gotta lay down, 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 all the way down. Come on. Okay, good boy. All right. <laughs> all right, so I bribed him, so I don't know how long. So here you're looking at the clip with my voiceover of him waiting to be fed. I was reporting back to a lot of people that inquired how our kitty was doing since his bladder infection and blocked urethra and all that stuff. And, and here he, I thought he was doing well, but as it turned out, he was 12.37 or 12 and three quarters pounds December 2017. He went back in August of 2018 because he had about a constipation he needed to stay overnight for two days, another hospitalization, and another surgery to clean out his colon. So um, we started to cut back on the dry food. And when you watch this video clip here of us, or me preparing the cat food, I do add some water to it. I wanted to make sure he had plenty of fluids. You want to make sure they're able to urinate properly, and you want to make sure that they're not going to be constipated. So having uh, blocked urethra and constipation you really have to be careful in how they're fed and we did our best to do that now he had shown increased arthritis uh, the inability to jump up he had to crawl up on the bed and he was doing that less and less he was doing less and less jumping up on a chair to sit in our laps at night we watch tv um, i'd have to lower the footrest manually so he could climb up like a ramp he started to hide the last two weeks of his life, and he also had taken a weird posture. It was like he couldn't sit, and it was like he couldn't fully stand. His rear quarters looked really strange, and he had a hard time controlling his bowel movement, so he had multiple accidents multiple times throughout the house. So the last week of his life, I felt it was better until I got a handle on what to do to keep him confined in the basement. It was very sad. He really went downhill quickly. And so we finally decided to have him put down. Um, the most humane thing you can do to a cat in pain that's not enjoying life anymore like he was here is to put him out of his misery. It's sad for us, but it would it would just it would just been worse to keep him around. It turned out that the vet thinks he had heart disease because of thin veins rapid uh, respiratory breathing, uh, and I, and from further research, if had he been treated, might have extended his life a few weeks to three months tops. And then they also, they have weakened hindquarters because the blood is not able to pump the, the blood into their legs. So that's probably why he had the diarrhea. 
Um, at this point, he's out of his misery. He is with God. We'll see him one day in heaven. And I just wanted you all to know what happened and why I've not been around. Guy wants to eat. You want to eat? You want some food? Yeah, he knows, doesn't he? So we're going to go ahead and prepare uh, his. Are you ready to eat? Huh? You ready to eat? Okay, let's go. Yeah. We also have plenty of water for him, too. And uh, he just loves it. He's going for it. So there you go. They can really go downhill quickly. A heart disease can actually come on all of a sudden when symptoms are silent most of their life. He dropped almost five pounds. It was just sad, but he's in a better place now. We really miss him, and we wanted to share it with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.